The current project is one I've been thinking about some time and comes from this really quite old embroidery and cross stitch magazine. Can't remember how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Uh, it's one of those things you just buy, put away and think you'll come back to it one day. The Bumblebee is um, by Stephanie Burnham and she uses Raj Mahal Saadi threads. And I didn't have in my stash all of the requirements that she has uh, listed here. So I'm making it up as I go along from the things I have lurking in my stash. I have already worked the, um, the body of the bumblebee and have given him little uh, twisted metal um, uh, antenna and uh, all he needs now are his wings. This is been, has been worked on an aluminium, lightweight aluminium frame made out of the same materials you use to make fly screens and um, cut for me by you know, the local hardware and put together and you tension it on the back using spaghetti which is pushed into a groove and uh, it actually makes it drum tight which is perfect for um, gold work, metal thread work and this is lightweight um, and it's great for if you're going to travelling off to classes and don't have to carry a lug a great big wooden heavy frame around with you. To do the wings um, I again didn't have the metal thread, so I'm using. I used um, the um, wire you use for making using cake decorating. Got it at the local uh, uh, supply store, and that is great. It's covered. Um, you know, it's not going to rust because it's got food quality, and um, you know, it works. So what I've done is um, I've used. Uh, some iridescent um, iridescent organza uh, left over from a sewing project uh, many years ago and I have couched the wire down following the pattern onto the organza uh, using a silk thread to couch it down now I'm over sewing it with again something found in the stash as you do just can't even remember what brand this is, but it works and the colourway is right for what I'm looking for. Um, and um, I'm now going to I'm now to over sewing the wire to hide the green because I don't want to want the green to show. Uh, in the instructions for the project, it says to use closed blanket stitch or buttonhole. I'm simply use over sewing using satin stitch. Uh, uh, again, because that's a technique I know will work. And rather than stabilise the fabric as suggested in the, um, in, in the instructions by ironing vial into the back of it, I haven't done that because what I'm going to do is when I've finished the embroidery, I am going to paint the back of it with PVA glue, uh, which I know works well. It's a technique that was taught to me um, many years ago uh, when I was doing a gold work, gold work classes with a really quite well-known tutor. And uh, having done a little test piece down here on the corner, I know that the uh, PVA glue will dry firm, will hold everything in place, won't, things won't fray, and uh, the iridescence on the fabric remains. So that little corner down there has been painted with PVA glue, so I know that's going to work. I'm now, I say, over sewing the, um, the wire, and I will then work the veins. In order to do that, uh, like all gold work techniques, you need to be able to work with two hands. So I'm going to clamp the frame, the hoop to my bench using these wonderful bar grips, um, which are really great because they're quick release. And I um, stole these from my husband's workshop, as you do. Um, but they're available in all sorts of sizes. So you can get small ones, you can get very large ones. They're used for woodworking, I think. Um, and basically you just slide the bar open, grab it over your branch, uh, bench and using the ratchet, tension it so it's, so it's firmly fixed the bar. The thing, this little button make, helps you uh, slide the bar up and down and tension it with the ratchet. Now that means the um, 
frame is now sitting away from the bench and the piece I'm working on I can actually get my hands under and use work two-handed. I, um, I'm now going to go away and work the, uh, the veins, uh, finish all of this and then um, put place the wings onto the bumblebee and then turn it into a paperweight. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cover this lovely rock, which has been covered with uh, with wadding. Now I'm going to place the bumblebee on the rock, uh, and that will be a nice little paperweight when it's finished. So I'll go away, work the um, work the leaves, and then come back and show you hopefully the completed project.